Have you guys ever wondered what it's like to be absolute trash at drawing? Well, I'm your man. Uh, you know, looking back on this again, like we always do, I realized her back looks like someone drop kicked her and now she has a permanent hunchback. Today, we are gonna be spending seven days on digital art on the iPad, learning how to draw, how to paint on the iPad. And we're gonna see the progress, we're gonna show it off and we're gonna see what the hell happened if you guys are new my name is kenny f and i have not posted in a while and recently i had an ipad sitting in my room doesn't get used doesn't get touched and i was like you know what let's low-key learn how to draw on the ipad i know how to draw a little bit on paper but not like i'm not i'm not good i'm just an average man at the gas station but over the last week i wanted to mess around and get used to some of the paints and try to see how it works because at first it was tragic i will say that but it got better at the end but let's get into this okay so one of the first days i was looking at this girl that's on a beach she's just a reference picture and you know i was like honestly at this point this is me just purely messing around with what do any of these tools do i'm using procreate by the way so i was like you know what let's do the cheese method let's trace her and then see if we can paint over her maybe make her look better <laughs> and then when i started painting here bro i was like damn this lo this looks weird got the nike got her mouth and i was like ooh, why why does skin look like that and then see this is when everything started going downhill i was like oh she looks horrible uh, yeah, and it, it kind of abruptly ended, but I just gave up. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. And like, I was trying to get like, I didn't understand. Like the brushes were so weird to me. Like I didn't realize if you press harder, it like it does darker tones. I was very confused. I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was tripping. It felt like, but trash. Oh yeah. Here's a, here's a sneak peek of my sister doing a little drawing. She's like eight years old. Uh, she like backhanded me and she was like, give me the iPad. I want to draw too. And I was like, all right, fine. Here you go. Uh, there's a dog bam anyways though i probably spent a good couple days just messing around with some of the brushes on like random sheets of paper i kind of just went back and forth like kind of messing around with it I, i'm not gonna lie i binge watched so many youtube videos too like uh sam does art like i was watching him like from start to finish like my man i was watching every video i was just like okay how did he do that though like he just makes it look so easy like i was watching so many youtubers they just do a stroke i'm like that looks so smooth and then i do a stroke and it looks like this okay well about on like day three ish though i started drawing this girl here so we got the face right more or less and i think the issues really start to come once i start coloring it in you know the actual tracing and or the actual like drawing on the ipad isn't horrible for me it's like in the line art it's it's more or less the colors for me i mean don't get me wrong i'm my proportions are horrible but like see now once i once i start getting the skin and stuff in, i was like it just looks wrong like I, okay, I don't know if any of y'all out there, but I must be using like the wrong color. You know what I mean? Like her skin just looks off. And then her hair was just dark brown. And I guess I didn't like finish it totally because like I kind of gave up. I was I was like looking at it. And I'm like, oh, it just looks so ugly. Like maybe I, I know I should have probably spent more time and then put like tone and color into the skin and stuff. But like, I mean, you see the progression from the first one at least. Like with the first one, I was tracing the girl. I just had no idea what was going on. Okay, so now we get to about the fourth day and we had this girl i don't have a reference picture but i saw a picture when i was scrolling through instagram this is a girl a beautiful girl on my instagram shout out her she took a cool picture with a flower in her hair uh you know on the beach and i was like i want to draw that so uh i started and you know the line art didn't look horrible i kind of made her look like a chiseled man i won't lie and then you know post recording me watching this over i kind of realized i gave her the longest neck i've ever seen in my life see now me looking at the neck it's throwing me off a little bit but at least i'm slowly get, uh, you know i'm getting the line art down slowly uh but anyways we get to the painting part of this and i wanted her skin to be like a little on the darker side with some black hair but i i, I made the hair look like it was just plastered on i'm not gonna lie but this is like the first time i really tried like shading the skin with like blush and darker tones like shadows and stuff and my, she looks so scary uh she looks like a chiseled man but as we let this go on here I, I decided to like really add some prominent lines everywhere to make things pop and i just i think it's making it worse like uh it just it just doesn't look right like you guys are looking at this right it just doesn't look right like 
you know in my head i was like this is gonna be sick the flower done all right you know add some lines made a little flower the, i think the hair for me is throwing me off it's just so like plasticky like it looks really like stiff and yeah i definitely should have like blended the skin or something like the tones i used like the shot at least like okay so but this is on like day four -ish, you know i was trying to mess around with the shadows at least to get used to them more or less so i guess props to me for like slowly adding shadows and stuff but like yeah definitely not my strongest i did like the eyebrow slits though they kind of look nice added an orange background it made it look a little better won't lie but yeah, definitely, you know, it's an improvement from what we've started with, with coloring and shading and stuff. I think really just got to put a lot of it together. Okay, so this is actually one of my most proud ones on day five, I believe. And <clears throat> this girl, I was genuinely proud of myself for doing this. The coloring, the drawing, I was genuinely proud. So anyways, we kind of start with a cubish head shape and we draw a... Uh, a girl's face i want about a side angle kind of her leaning her head on her shoulder and i want her to have like big curly hair like really fun hair uh, you know looking back on this again like we always do i realized her back looks like someone drop kicked her and now she has a permanent hunchback i didn't realize how messed up her back was now looking at it again but other than that i'm proud other than the back i'm proud of it yeah, I spent a good while messing around with the face because I realized the cube shape was just not doing it for me. So I kind of messed around, tried to fix up the head, make it more roundish, look like an actual face. So it, it doesn't throw me off as bad. But I wanted her to have some sick glasses. So that was my plan. Right now it's looking good though. You know, it's looking not bad. Yeah, I don't know why I made her back just extend that much. But yeah, as you see, we, we're getting into the coloring now. And I think I was finally getting the actual skin tone down now. Because I think this is a great skin tone. I got the blush a little bit here. The glasses looking nice. I won't lie. I was proud of myself for the glasses. Uh, but I honestly, I think the colors were done really well. It, I took a while on this. You know, the time lapse won't show you everything. But I spent a long time on this. I won't lie. Uh, you know, I think if I would have fixed up the back and maybe liquefy it down, I think this would have been a, a beaut, to be honest. You know, maybe I probably could have done a little more shadows on the face and made the lips better. But I think the... I Hey, you guys tell me what you guys think in the comments. But I think I did pretty good on this. By the way, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you also go follow... I made an Instagram for me posting art things and anything YouTube related. It's at uh, KennyFBoy on Instagram. Uh, KennyFBoy was taken. So I had to use boy as in Kenny F boy, but instead of the O I at the end, it's O I I kind of annoyed, but you know, we move on. So we go to day six. Okay. So day six, I want to draw this character from a game that I play as she has an Afro. She like, you know, she's one of my main characters in the game. I'm known a lot for her when I used to play games and I was like, yeah, let's make her. So I might've taken a step back from my previous day on day five uh you know the coloring i i didn't really you know i was kind of proud of myself because this is pretty quick this one only took me like maybe 40 minutes but i i think this is really showing me that i was finally getting you know mixing tones down and stuff because i liked it i didn't hate it so i wanted to give her afro big smile uh but her skin is really the big part that's throwing me off you know i think i definitely should have chose more colors that made her look literally less dead like on her dead bed like she looks like she's on her deathbed that's how pale she is right now uh, i tried giving her blush but i just don't think i gave her enough honestly you know I, I think you guys can see that i definitely did not give her enough uh but yeah you know overall it wasn't a horrible but you guys can see the progress i guess throughout the days of me like at least i'm trying to mess around with mixing things more but i think i definitely I, after i did it i realized i should have done way more tones and colors but yeah let's move on to day seven okay and day seven is what i am most proud for i was sitting in class my teacher boring me ah uh, talking about letters could not care and i said you know what sit next to my friend i'm gonna draw a girl's eyes and eyebrows and then little did i know it actually turned into an entire drawing i was just sitting here day seven like you know what i want to draw something let's just draw some eyes I really, my goal was I wanted to mess around with blending colors and stuff because I was really disappointed from the afro I drew earlier because our, our skin color threw me off. So I was like, you know what? Let's just draw an entire portrait of a face, basically, like a big eyes. 
And then next thing you know, I started adding blush, I started adding some shadows, colored in the eyes. And I was like, low key, this looks really good. Like, you know, at one point you say, hey JJ, I love you. Hola, como te va? Muy bien. I, I was just talking to my friends in class, spamming. But then, you know, when I got home, I was like, you know what, let's do some hair too. Like, I'm kind of proud of this. And I started drawing some hair and I was like, this is looking good. Uh, I think I really nailed the colors on this one at least. Uh, but the really, um, the part that was killing me, boys, boys and girls here, was the lip. I, if anyone has tips on how to draw a lip, let me know. Because uh, as y'all can see, the lip was done dirty. I can't draw lips to save my life. But I, you know, overall, at least I tried. But um, yeah, I really took a long time on this one. I spent a good couple hours. I really messed around with the shading. And just coloring a lot and I wanted to make her face look actually alive rather than dead like we've been doing before and I did spend a good amount of time on the lips too but I think what really helped me from previous days is I added a lot of blush I don't know it made her face really like stand out I thought it made it look actually alive rather than just dead inside I think the one thing I would definitely change is the lips I'm just not good at them but I think you know they don't look horrible Overall, I'm really proud of myself for this one. I think I did a good job. I even add a little heart uh, on the lip because I thought it'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you all for joining me. If you guys watched to the end, uh, seven day challenge. Uh, I've been getting into drawing because I've been pretty bored. Haven't been playing any games. So if you guys like to see videos like this, maybe some fun stuff, react to art, do more art. Maybe some challenge, we could do like a seven day hand challenge. You guys let me know in the comments. Uh, I missed y'all by the way, it's been a while since I posted. Uh, anyone is watching this, I love you. Take it easy and make sure you go subscribe.